Welcome to Trending Today, where we share inspiring stories of innovators and entrepreneurs who are setting the trends and changing the game in every industry imaginable. SiteCall is a powerful way for enterprise companies to solve problems with digital solutions. Join us as we travel the globe and visit SiteCall. Since day one, the vision for SiteCall was to build a global platform that could empower enterprise to see, analyze, and guide remotely. It's interesting today to realize that in most of these enterprise to customer communication, you do not use vision. Most of the communication today still are made of text and voice, where, as everybody knows, just one picture is worth a thousand words. So our mission is really to bring this visual component to all of this interaction, making them much more efficient than if you keep them blind. When we started Cycle, Antoine and I were telecommunication engineers who lived the internet scale. So literally, we were guys building the infrastructure of the internet with the UNET. And we were acquired by MCI WorldCom, a big telco. And that was a real cultural shock between these two companies, where the internet guys were absorbed by a big telecommunication company where everything was siloed. In our internet world, we were already global and we did not have any separation between any type of media. And that was really kind of the uh, origin of the idea. Now that the internet is gonna cover the world, we can deliver global real-time communication services that mix all of this media, all of this data together in a single channel. And so that's where we started to build and design this platform that is the cycle platform, where now you can mix augmented reality with computer vision, with live video, on everything aimed to deliver a better visual service to large companies. At Sitecall, our product strategy is aligned with key business objectives. Today, we're working on bringing customer satisfaction by working on different key performance objectives. We have helped our customers to reduce up to 50% of track rolls. We have also ensured to reduce up to 960% of first-time resolutions. And we have managed to save up to 1.7 metric tons of C2. So we're constantly working on improving our KPIs that we provide to our customers, but our mission doesn't end up to this. Uh, today, we are this eye on the site. So for our own customers, instead of interacting with the chatbot and uh, relying on the long process of troubleshooting and help them solve the issues, with site called Platform today, we are leveraging the power of the eye, the power of the vision, uh, so instead of reaching an agent remotely, we have also empowering the digital journey by bringing AI capabilities to solve faster, to bring a picture as a recommendation, a video, or even getting some AI recommendations that helps resolve faster. Instead of taking hours and minutes, it goes into seconds. We created Cycle on the vision that real-time video for business will have specific use cases, such as a support field technician, that was not addressed at this time. So we decided to develop this platform on a very strong principles. It has to be SaaS, it has to be pure cloud, it has to be multi-tenant, it has to be developed on, on stack uh, for real time. So we develop on servers or on clients. And the platform also has to be worldwide. I mean, uh, deployed everywhere to be universal. I can use it as soon as I'm in uh, America, Asia, Europe, everywhere. And universal also because we started at the beginning to work with the four main platforms. I mean, PC and Mac, Android and iOS natively. And then also the specificity of the, the B2B market. On the B2B market, you've got firewalls, you've got proxies, uh, you've got managed computers, and it's very hard to install uh, any uh, software. So we had to solve day one this issue uh, to be very efficient on the deployment. I found that transparency and action are greatly valued here. We ensure that our teams are always informed and that they feel part of our growth trajectory. Our customers are best in class. They are looking for a remote visual support solution that helps 
their customers feel supported and understood. Accurate and fast problem solving can't happen with long call resolution times or bad connections or a solution that doesn't personalize experiences. Global trends show a growing demand for instant personalized service and site call vision aligns with these expectations. SciCall is a video solution, but it's also much more than a video solution. It's a way for our agents and technicians to guide our end users, a way to uh, accelerate answers to issues, a way to bring innovations inside IT departments, a way to uh, reduce our footprint and to provide more responsible IT services. I think it's the best solution today for this kind of challenges. Field service engineers are facing a very complex environment. They're working on more complex products and the job is more difficult for them. And they face a lot of friction in their day-to-day -day execution. We find that augmented reality has the opportunity to upskill and reskill in that moment of truth to get technicians and field service engineers unstuck. It's a really critical technology to creating that platform for technicians to be as efficient as they possibly can be. Companies like SiteCall are well positioned to enable service organizations to achieve best-in-class results. The need for more experienced technicians and engineers couldn't be more critical right now. According to our research, 56% of service leaders were prioritizing a technology investment in 2023, 40% of which were prioritizing an augmented reality technology investment. It is critical to the technology stack to enable the types of service delivery that best-in-class organizations are achieving. Augmented reality technology combined with AI empower service organizations to create a proactive service experience inside their organization. Oftentimes, next-gen workers that are new to the industry need that guidance. And when they fall out of rhythm, their utilization rates fall out of rhythm. AI and AR together can combine guided workflows where service leaders can track and trace anomalies in service delivery, where you can identify utilization opportunities, as well as perhaps safety incidents that have happened in the field so that you can proactively support your frontline when they need the help. Our platform's unique ability to craft tailored visual journeys at any stage of the service delivery process marks a game changer. This means that enterprises can remotely handle tasks such as viewing, analyzing, guiding, and reporting in a way that's both personalized and highly efficient. Site Call Vision isn't just a tool, it's a cutting edge solution that not only streamlines operations, but also plays a role in promoting ecological sustainability and fostering individual achievements in the workplace. Site Call is a global platform, but for real. Very few of our competitors can say that. It's based on our strong principle that guide us to uh, set up and to create cycle platform. The most important one, I think, is about the B2B approach. You can decide on your data residency. If you are a German customer, you may prefer that your data will stay in your country. If you are in the US, it's the same. And we have also to be compliant with a lot of data regulation and approach, again, about the IT policy and Cycle was, from the creation, a B2B platform to address these issues, I would say. At Cycle, we built our own technology. We own the platform. We spent years of research and development to really build a stack that is designed for visual assistance. And we are the only platform in the world that was built on this purpose. In 2024, we continue to innovate. We continue to expand Cycle vision into more computer vision to be able to see, analyze, and guide remotely. Today, we already went pretty far into the analysis of what you can see. And tomorrow, by combining more and more AI and AR together to provide contextual guidance on the spot, we are building the future of service. I am Thomas, the CEO of Cycle, and we are training today. KIDS Individual Development Services is a locally owned and operated direct support professional agency. We visit Carefree Arizona to find out more. 
My name is Kathy Lee Meyer and I am the CEO and founder of Kids Individual Development Services. I started the process actually in 2018 and we launched in 2019 and it came about as a resource for families to find caregivers that fit what they need versus having them fit what a caregiver needs. My nephew Vic, he wasn't diagnosed till he was almost 10 and we really struggled because we didn't know what he had. We didn't. We knew he was a little bit different. He had only spoke maybe four words by the time he was four years old, and the doctors were really nervous about diagnosing him. Once we had the diagnosis, then we were like, oh, now we know what to research. We know we need to shift because he can't shift in the moment, and that helped us figure out a lot of things. It was really rough, so it was just me and my sister. Just prior to that, our, our mom and stepdad had passed away, and so, um, we, we had to lean on each other a lot. The more I reached out and did my research, I found that not only is it difficult to get a diagnosis, once you get the diagnosis, then it's, now what do I do? Most don't ever get told what they can do. It's only if you happen upon someone that wants to take you under their wing and show you. Once that happens, you go to the county and you make an appointment and you have to wait. They do an evaluation and then they say, well, you might qualify for this many hours of support for care. And then you're handed a list of a couple hundred caregivers that you have to call down the list to see if they're taking new clients, if they have availability, what their schedule's like. And so it's just one spiral after the other. And so the goal was if I could just lessen that burden just a little bit. And so that's what we set out to do. So Kids Individual Development Services in Arizona, we provide three types of care for our individuals. The first one is called attendant care. And the way to think about attendant care is if you have an individual who needs help with their activities of daily living, like bathing, dressing, food assistance, hygiene, that's, an, that's under attendant care. So we come into the home and we help support the family with that individual. And the next type of care we provide is habilitation. And what habilitation is, is I think of it this way. If I have these goals that I need to achieve, that's what habilitation is, you have goals. But our caregiver comes in and they help them achieve those goals. For example, if little Joey needs to learn how to tie his shoes and that's one of his goals, our caregiver goes in and helps them reach that goal. The next thing that we provide is what's called respite. And respite care, the best way to think about it is it's a mom break. Because when you have a person that has some special powers, sometimes it's hard. You put that person in front of all of your own needs and you don't take care of yourself. Well, respite is meant so you can go refill your cup and still be that great parent, but have that time to go to Target and walk around for 25 minutes or an hour sipping Starbucks and know that somebody's at your home taking care of that individual so you can refill your cup. The premise is, is that our caregivers are trained on all the nuances of any diagnosis in the intellectual and developmental disability community. So we make sure that they are the uh, most qualified and we also train them on behavior prevention. We're one of the only agencies that that's our foundation, is that if we can prevent behaviors, then they may never need a behavior plan. A lot of the nuances of the intellectual and developmental disability community is communication. They don't have the tools. And the majority of society, even schools, do not have the education to jump into their normal, to jump in their reality, and help them to thrive in that situation. So that's where our caregivers come in. And so we specifically handpick caregivers for families to make sure that they thrive. Our goal is long-term sustainability because then the individual trusts the, the person that's caring for them and then the family can slowly breathe and start to step back a little bit and just be mom or dad versus being caregiver 24-7. It is a huge challenge if you don't have any resources. Working for kids really appealed to me because I do have a son who is on the spectrum. So being able to work in a company that helps people with disabilities is really close to my heart. When he was younger, so he's 24 now, when he was diagnosed, he was two years old. I was very young. I did not know that services were out there like this. They were very hard to come by. It took a lot of work to get into them. It's really difficult to be able to find resources, especially when you're a single mom, you know, you've got kids to raise, you don't have time to go out and look for all of those things on your own. It would have really actually changed my life to have had services like we provide. The resource guide was created for that purpose, to help moms like me who don't know what to do, because when you get a diagnosis, 
they hand it to you and say your kid has autism. Here you go. You, if you don't have the experience, you don't know what to do with it. Taking your child to the dentist or to the eye doctor is so different. And not every organization or clinic is equipped with that. So with the guide, you're able to go, okay, I am looking for a dentist that specializes in this community and you know that they're going to be flexible and they have experience. You have the opportunity to impact someone's day every single day to help them have those moments of, aha, this is real or I can do this or you see their self-esteem grow. You see them take on new challenges that their parents never thought was possible. It can seem like a big mountain and hopefully um, with a guide coming out, we'll have more resources to help people find the right place for them. My name is Kathy Lee Meyer, and I am the CEO and founder of Kids Individual Development Services, Kids for short, and Lee Meyer Development. We are trending today. Lotus Plant Energy is based upon the interconnection of mind, body, and spirit. Let's see what's trending with Lotus Energy. I'm Scott Strader, CEO of Lotus Plant Energy. When you look at energy as a whole and how it was created, there's a lot of artificial synthetic ingredients. The vision for Lotus was to create a healthy energy drink that could give you abundant energy, not at the expense of your health. Lotus Plant Energy is a plant-based energy drink that's made with Earth's power plants. It's worldwide ingredients that we have really searched the Earth for that actually work together. We developed Plant Power 7. Seven of Earth's power plants that address the symptoms of low energy. What we try to do is to nurture the cause of why you get these symptoms. And it's gut health, it's stress related, it's low grade things always trying to attack your immunity. So now you take natural caffeine, you round it into these plants. Now what you have then is you have a beverage accessory that is so great to get you through your day, not at the expense of your health. That is our job to do that, to bring the consumer something without just copious amounts of, of B vitamins, sugar, and caffeine. That's your normal energy drink. That's not what we do. This is a plant power drink that is so spectacular for giving you energy and harmonizing with the human system. When you drink Lotus, you can feel the balance of energy in your body. It makes you feel good and you want to keep, you know, you want that feeling of happiness and that feeling that you're not tired, you're, you don't feel fatigued, like you have the energy to, to carry you throughout the day. I'm Hannah Lane and I am the marketing director for Lotus Plant Energy Drinks. Millennials grew up on energy drinks, so they, they weren't coffee drinkers, so we're looking for other options to get caffeinated. And so what's great about the flavor infused energy drinks is that personal touch with the barista, you get a handcrafted, made just for you, healthier alternative energy drink that just evokes a feeling of happiness and you know it's gonna make you feel good on the inside. Consumers nowadays are more mindful. We're more conscious about what we put into our bodies and we're willing to pay a premium even for those, those plant ingredients. But there is a, a better way to do it and that's what Lotus brings to the table. I'm David Gonzalez production manager here at Lotus Plant Energy Drinks. A lot of the Lotus products is produced here locally in Utah, but you see behind me comes and goes weekly from full to empty. The, the amount of volume that we produce out of here is just amazing. I used to count pallets, then I used to count how many trucks we send out. I don't even count anymore. I just make sure that we get the work done and it all happens. We, we have a footprint in about every single state in America right now, and we've uh, dwelled out internationally as well. I see Lotus in the future um, going globally, as well as uh, being available in C stores, grocery stores. There's some new plans coming. Uh, 
that's going to really explode the company. And I'm so happy to be part of it. Our next act, so to speak, is going to be the release of our plant powered drink. And this drink utilizes seven of our power plants that we discussed before, but in a relationship unlike seen in any other drink that has been out there. Zero sugar added, zero net carbs, with a taste experience you will not believe is not sugar. Those that love Lotus and already know Lotus are gonna be able to get it ready to serve right off the grocery shelves, take it home, keep it in your refrigerator. It's just gonna be fantastic. What's really important to us is to build the relationships with the customers. We are communicating with them on a daily basis. We're interacting with their content. We care about what they post and comment on our social media. We care about what they tag us in. So we, we want to capitalize on that and make sure that we're giving them just as much love and acknowledging, hey, I, I, I see you, I hear you, I know that you're, you're a lover of Lotus. So building that relationship back with the customer, that's gonna be our biggest marketing strategy um, because it, it, it's driven through passion. The three Ps are passion, purpose, and patience. Now, if you have those three things, you're going to make something spectacular. All of these things from putting, you know, the awakening of health, putting vibrant color and flavor together, and then really making a healthy energy drink. So when somebody picks it up, they just like it and it helps them get through their day. That's the award that we want. That's what we're looking for. Well, my name is Scott Strader. I'm the CEO of Lotus Plant Energy, and we are trending today. Custom luxury homes built to inspire. Let's visit the team at a finer touch. We built Custom Homes Luxury Product all through the Phoenix, Scottsdale area. I started the company back in 2013. Very humble beginnings, like most of us when we start a company, trying to figure out that entrepreneurship journey. Now, especially being in business 10 years, have really understood that we're a business that happens to focus in construction. My role as owner is to be the visionary for the company, to the direction, the marketing, uh, the financials, employment and of course you know the systems that we have to make this a great customer experience for our client. We enhance the client experience with our weekly videos that our superintendents provide to our customers. Every Friday we get a weekly video with our designer, architect, client and our team. 10 or 12 people on this group tech so they can see the progress. So that trust is really important that we build for our team. We have good relationships with architects and designers. And when we have those relationships and we just introduce the clients to them, then they have positive experiences. Then they're making referrals to those architects and designers and other trade partners that we have. And so they're helping the community. They're helping grow the business, the construction industry, and they're helping everybody out who's involved in the process. I'm Adam Cade, I'm with the Finer Touch Construction, I'm the Senior Construction Manager. So a key step to the successful build is the team that we put together. We need the architects, the engineers, the designers to all work well as a team in order to give us the proper specs and designs and details necessary to be successful in our build. With Project Blow Your Mind, I think it's the details and the finishes and having them match up correctly. We have board form concrete, stucco, siding, large windows uh, that need to be detailed properly so that everything looks like it's installed correctly. We're sitting here now at one of our signature projects. This is what I wanted to do. This is why I went to college and did construction management. I grew up in the trades in San Diego, moved to Phoenix after college, and so this is what I wanted. I envisioned that. All of our marketing and strategy has been, you know, positioned to get to that point at some day. So having that patience, but continuing to work and making sure that today we're a lot better than yesterday and better tomorrow than we were the day before. It's really important that that's our focus as a company. And because of that, that's alluded to the opportunities that we have now. 
There's a lot to love about the Finer Touch construction brand. What I love about it is just the transparency. Brad Levitt is very transparent. We post all of our work, it's original content, and I think that people will see that when they work with the Finer Touch, that, that our people are genuine, that we really want their project to go well, that we want to build a really great home. When we're dealing with a client who's investing millions of dollars, right, they want to understand where that goes. And to me, transparency is key. To show them every invoice, they know how we're paid, how we're compensated, any discounts we get, how we present that to the client. By being transparent with our employees, with the process, with the whole channel, you don't have to worry about invoices on the job site. You don't have to worry about showing the client the schedule because you're showing them this is the goal, this is what we're working to. We're very confident in who we are as a company, as a brand, and what we built you know, on our platform. So what makes AFT special is we are a family and we really treat each other as such. I think it's really important when I was an employee to understand when you're working for a company, how are you treated, right? And a lot of us have so much potential that we're willing to give. And when you feel like someone cares on the other side or they acknowledge that and they recognize it, there's a drive. I feel like AFT Construction is my family. I love working with these men and women and helping them to be successful. And then also working with my best friend and having so much success together has been amazing. If you can come in and have a community there and friendships, you know, that value and that community and that retention is huge. And I feel that that's been a huge gift for us why we have the retention that we do when we have people that come and they stay for as long as, you know, we'll be in business. Our mission of AFT, again, is to elevate the industry and as I mentioned, to save marriages one house at a time. Um, to continue to uh, improve the building process, improve the communication process, and for anyone that wants to see a, a breakdown of what that looks like, we have our core values on our website at aftconstruction.com. But at the end of the day, we want to build amazing lives for our customers so that they always feel that they're on vacation. I'm Brad Levitt, president and founder of A Finer Touch Construction located here in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we are trending today. Join us next time as we explore what's trending today.